Hello everybody, Ben the Pat Tester here. Cater and Pat Testing is the channel. Uh, apologies for my slightly messy uh, desk here. Um, just wanted to do a video uh, today about a class two pat test and the correct way to do a class two pat test. Now I was chatting to somebody the other day and um, to be quite honest, um, the way that he thought you should do a class two pat test was uh, incorrect and I was trying to explain to him kind of how to do it and why to do it that way um, but unfortunately I couldn't uh, persuade him um, otherwise you know he, he had his idea in his head uh, of how he how he did it so I just wanted to do a video a off the back of that conversation B I did do a class 2 pat test video last year or something but I did it in portrait mode on my phone and, and um it looked funny on the screen and everything. So I thought I'd just redo it for you now. So class two pack test. So uh, we've got here a class two appliance. Let's move that out of the way there. And uh, this is a Sony Blu-ray player. You can see there it's identified. You've got the two uh, squares within a square there, which identifies that as a class two pack test. We've got fixed cord, um, two core flex on that. Um, so we'd assume for these purposes we've done a full visual inspection. You know, we've checked the fuse and the cable and everything else as you as you normally would. Now this particular class two appliance is a metal cased appliance. You can see there's exposed metal parts here. You've got screws. You've got a metal there. This would class as an exposed metal piece on the LAN port there, and also on the HD port as well. That would be classed as a um, exposed metal part and I think on the bottom yeah look it's all exposed on the bottom now so when you're doing a class 2 pack test um, my friend who I was chatting to seemed to believe that you didn't need to use this test probe on a class 2 pack test he, he thought of this as the earth test probe so you only use this on a class 1 test to get an earth reading when that's actually incorrect the, this test probe here um, and it's called a test probe it's not called an earth test probe um, has equal importance in a class 2 pack test as it does in a class 1 pack test and I will tell you why so on a class 2 pack test basically um, what your um, pack test machine will do is it sends a test voltage into the appliance now what it does the pack test machine inside it will um, connect live and neutral together that's all clever and box of tricks and everything and it will send a test voltage most normally 500 volt dc test voltage but on some occasions you might need to use a 250 volt dc if it's a particularly sensitive piece of equipment but normally it would send a test voltage of 500 volt dc into here now the reason you need to use your test probe on here is this is double insulated appliance so you know it's got primary and secondary and supplementary insulation inside to help prevent any um leakage you know voltage leakage whatever you want to call it onto the metal casing so for example if if the insulation inside broke down and uh, a live cable inside touched one of these exposed metal parts and you touched it you would get a shock so what you need to do is when the machine is sending a test voltage into this particular appliance you need to use your test probe here connected to a exposed metal part for your machine to pick up whether there is any test voltage being detected on these exposed metal parts so uh, as you can see here we've got the appliance plugged in you uh, i've just set up a, a 500 volt uh, insulation uh, test on here for five seconds so normally you know, excuse me because i've got the camera in my hand but you you attach your probe you know you you'd push the button there and you'd attach it and you get a reading there of greater than 19.99 mega ohms so that machine is telling you that it's not picking up any uh, of the voltage on any of these exposed metal parts so the machine um, says that this particular item passes now the confusion lies 
And people say, oh, well, you don't need to attach this because your machine is connected to the appliance and it's, and it's picking up. That isn't the case at all. You must use this test probe because this is the only way that your PAP testing machine will be looking for any of that voltage um, that your PAP testing machine is sending down. Uh, on a class one appliance, of course, it's slightly different because your um, machine will be looking for any of that voltage back through the earth pin because obviously it's an earthed appliance, so it's looking for that. But when it's only a two core non-earthed appliance, you must attach this test probe. Um, the other thing is, is you know, you take off the uh, test probe, you unplug the machine. And then you run another test and you'll still get the same reading. And people will say, oh, well, yeah, well, if we still got the same reading, then we don't need to do the test as you did it. Well, you see, because nothing's connected, so your machine is doing what it's supposed to do, but you're not connecting the test probe to anything electrical. You know, the appliance isn't even plugged in. So, of course, it's not detecting any voltage coming back off the appliance because nothing's attached so i hope that makes sense so on a class 2 pat test you must always attach your test probe to something metal now of course something slightly different is certain appliances class 2 may not have any exposed metal parts i've just spotted this thing here like this fan for instance now you might say, well, OK, um, you can see the cable goes all the way up through here uh, and into there. But you've still got a couple of screws on there. So, for instance, the flex might become damaged inside and it could touch the thread of the screw. Um, you know, you've still got a metal case in here, even though, you, you know, it's not attached to anything um, you know, where the where the live parts are. There's still a chance of that double insulation breaking down and making this particular piece live here so it's always important on a class 2 test to attach your test probe um, and there might be other items as well that have got no exposed metal parts whatsoever no screws nothing and in that certain case you know it could warrant just a, a, a visual inspection but if it's got you know two three four screws holding the case in together um, even though you think that you know there's no chance of any of the internal electrical parts touching those screws just pop your probe on and just prove the theory you know you've got to run the test through your machine anyway to record a vision inspection so you might as well just run through an insulation test as well on the exposed screws um, you know very unlikely chance I know but always worth double checking um, and then you know that you've done the test properly. So I hope that helps. Any questions, let me know. Uh, and don't forget to like and subscribe as well. That'd be really great. Thanks very much.